risk and relative risk. Now, uh, risk can be understood as probability. And uh, when you're talking about risk, it's something which is uh, generally not pleasant. Okay, so risk can be understood as probability. Now, uh, when you talk about risk, when you're talking about risk, you're talking about uh, incidents which are not pleasant, like death uh, or CS, illness or accident or anything which is not pleasant or lateness. So there are different situations can, you think of, suppose you catch a flight, uh, what's the probability of getting late? So that's a, you can also call that as a risk of having a late flight. Or you think about driving, uh, what's the risk of uh, crashing when you're driving? Okay, now that risk is related to many other aspects. So if you talk about driving, uh, there's always this risk of injury or death. Okay, so the the probability of that risk or probability of that happening or the risk of that event happening say let's talk about death due to driving death due to driving so there's always a risk that death, death or injury can happen because of driving now this risk or the probability of death because of driving is dependent on many factors such as your speed, it can be dependent on your speed, it can be dependent on your drinking habits, drinking alcohol, uh, it can it be dependent on many other things, like okay, drinking alcohol, it can be dependent on your seat belts and many other factors. But you can understand the risk uh, of injury or death increases uh, as you increase the speed or if you are drink driving, your uh, the probability or the risk of death increases. So we can find the risk or the probability of a particular unpleasant event happening uh, using probability. So let's let me talk about relative risk and risk with a help of an example. Okay, so this is a table. This table shows the data of study of deaths uh, from lung cancer versus other causes. So this is lung cancer and other causes and uh, smokers and non-smokers. So what does this table say? There are 399, sorry, 397 smokers who died due to lung cancer out of the total smokers of 436, 7316 and so on. I think you can understand the table. So the first question is, what's the risk of a smoker dying due to lung cancer? So you need to uh, look at this column of smokers. So the risk of smoker dying due to cancer. So let's underline, uh, highlight this. So we're talking about smokers and lung cancer. So the risk or the probability of a smoker dying uh, due to cancer, lung cancer would be 397 so there were total how many smokers there were 7316 smokers and out of them 397 died due to lung cancer so let's write this as a percent so let me get a calculator out so this is 397 divided by 7316 and this i'm going to change this as a percent so it does make sense. So that's 5.43% chance, or there's 5.43% risk that a smoker would die due to cancer, rounding it to 2DP. So we can say the probability or the risk of a smoker dying due to cancer is 5.43%. Okay, now the next question is, what's the risk of a non-smoker? So we're looking at non-smokers so this is non-smokers and again due to lung cancer what's the probability or the what's the risk of a non-smoker dying due to lung cancer so that is this number that is 37 out of so the probability or the risk of a non-smoker dying due to cancer is 37 out of 4651 so let's write that as a percent so 
that is 37 divided by 4651. Uh, and this I'm going to change this as a percent times it by 100, which is 0 0.80. Okay, so I'll rounding into 2 dp. So there is 0 0.80 percent chance. So this is 0 0.80 probability or the risk of a non-smoker dying uh, due to cancer sorry due due to dying due to lung cancer is 0 0.80 so if you look at this the probability of a smoker dying due to lung cancer is 5.43 percent and the risk or the probability of a non-smoker dying due to lung cancer is 0 0.80 so I I think you can see this is almost six or uh, about seven times this and that is what relative risk is so the next question is relative risk what's the relative risk of dying of lung cancer for a non for a smoker for a smoker compared to a non-smoker okay due to lung cancer i think this is repeated okay i don't so you don't need this part okay so what's the relative risk of What's the relative risk of dying of lung cancer for a smoker compared to non-smoker? So using logic, I hope you understand it is more likely from the stats, from this risk or from this probability, you can see this is about six times. The risk of a smoker dying, dying due to cancer is about six times or seven times. So that is, how would you write that as a percent? Again, I'm going to write this as a percent. So this would be, 5.43 divided by 0 0.80. So this is relative risk can be a greater a number greater than one. This probability, this is always going to be less than 100 percent. So this is always going to be less than one. But this can be over more than one. So writing this as okay. So this is 5.43 divided by 0.8 which is 6.8 so what does this number mean 6.8 so it means that it is likely what does this 6.8 means this means this means a smoker a smoker is almost seven times more likely more likely to die of lung cancer of lung cancer than a non-smoker than a non-smoker because the probability of a smoker dying due to cancer lung cancer is 5.5.4 5 and the probability of a non-smoker is less than one person so this so the probability or the relative risk the relative risk of a smoker dying due to lung cancer is seven times than the smoke non-smoker dying due to lung cancer